All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. Harry, you've changed. Just as you have changed. What are you talking about? How did I change? The moment you laid that woman into your life, that was when you changed. I don't want or need a second more. And I will never acknowledge that woman as your wife, nor even a second more. She's very nice to you. She's extremely nice to you. Exactly. That's what pretenders do. Why are you judging her so harshly without even getting to know her first? If you get to know her, you'll fall in love with her, I'm telling you. Dad, any woman capable of cheating with a man on a sickly dying wife is not worth knowing. What are you talking about? I knew about your affair while what? mom was still alive. While she was there battling for her life, you were out there cheating with that ugly woman. That's exactly not what happened, okay? But that's a beautiful thing about conversation. I can explain what happened to you. Right I'm tired. I, I want to explain what happened. I want to sleep, Dad. Mm -mm. I mean, that's not nice. You know she doesn't like staying at her grandma's place. <clears throat> ah! Ah, my tummy. <coughs> my tummy is spraining me. Mimi. Ah! Don't worry, wait, wait, wait. She was brought into the hospital. You lost who? You lost who? Who is it? You lose? Don't touch me when you say Robby! You lost who? Who do you lose? How are you lose? How do you lose my presence? Are you mad? Wait! Who are you? What are you talking about? I now recognize you and know who you are. You're not my daughter. There's zero traits of me and your mother in you. Don't speak about me. She was so compassionate and accommodating. She was, she was a good woman. Yet you cheated on her with that woman. What are you talking about? I've been trying to talk to you about this for years. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm still not going to listen to you. Scarlett is dead. Huh? The woman you hated so much. She's not here anymore to disturb you. She's dead and gone forever. Out of our lives. And she loved you. Like she loved you like her own child. How did she die? What did you put in her food? Food? I... I put something to make her purge. I... My friend said she was just going to purge so badly and just faints. What did she do to you? Because you cheated on mom with her. You, you, you brought in your... I never cheated on your mother a day in my life. I've been trying to tell you this for years, literally. But you never listen. You never listen to this. It's too late. On her dying bed, your mother asked me to marry Scarlett. What? You're so stupid. I'm sorry, Dad. Alright, so we're gonna talk about this movie, Torn Hearts. This is really kind of a sad one. It's something that's hard to navigate, you know, when you have a daughter that's not in sync with your new wife uh, to be or stepmother. Now, this is a little kind of hard to navigate, especially when you have a grown daughter, a teenager daughter that's finding it hard to adapt to a stepmother. Of course, you know, with these days, there's a lot of issues that could come up with it. But I feel like that's the best way to bring it up. As you guys can see in that movie, the little girl believed that the man was already cheating with the girl before. And, you know, because of that, she had this passionate hatred for her. Although, you know, the mom was no more, but, you know, she still felt like this lady wasn't eligible to be a stepmother. And as you can see, the father wasn't able to get through to her because her mind was already made up. You know, but the thing here is not really just about the girl. It's about the whole scenario. I feel like when you're bringing a new woman into your family that already has a teenage daughter or teenage daughters you kind of have to be careful how you bring her in and you know the reason i say this is because you know kids they kind of have like this mind of their own and it's very easy for them to draw conclusions so here are my thoughts on this if you happen to be in such a situation before you bring the lady in it's always a good idea to have that discussion with the kids. And the reason you're having the discussion is to kind of prep their mind for what's to come. It's easier for them to accept when they've already had the discussion and have also had time to digest 
this situation before you now present the person that will end up being their stepmother. This gives them time to actually ask you any questions they want to ask you. You know, get comfortable with the idea that somebody else would show up in their lives. And then, you know, give them time to heal if it kind of comes as a shock or hurts them that that's going to be the new way of life. So it's always better to have this discussion with them. Tell them up front before you bring the lady in. You know, let them kind of digest the situation depending on the kind of person. You know, some kids, of course, would accept easier than others. But the bottom line is that you give them that time and give them that room to have that conversation with you. You know, they'll probably come back with additional questions. How is she or what does she do or what kind of person is her? Is she... You know, they can come back with any sort of question, but give them that time before you now introduce the lady. So when the lady now comes in, it's easier for them. They feel like they've already heard about her. They already know about her. You know, they know things about her ahead of time. When they now meet her, it's easier to bond. Now, there's no guarantee bonding will still be easy, but at least their kids have a heads up because they're the ones that need time to mentally adjust. The lady that's coming in already knew about the kids. She's already had time to adjust in her mind. The kids also need to do the same thing. And that's about it for this one, guys. If you love this kind of content, please like, share, subscribe, follow. Even if you don't like it, I beg subscribe to because you don't know the day that i'll talk about that issue that's dear to you this is cj from mcnary studios and as always i'm here to deliver sense